I made three hundred thousand dollars. I'm twenty three. I drive a Porsche. I'm twenty three and I have like a Darth Vader suit. I mean, it looks cool. I guess. You are 23, you drive a Porsche, you made that amount of money, and you look like that. What do you do exactly for a living? Exactly. I don't know about y'all, but I like clinging. I like when someone purposely grabs my hand to show other people that I'm theirs. I like when something exciting happens during the day and I'm the first person that you tell. I like coming back to an I miss you text if I'm busy at work or doing something. I like that random call at one in the morning just because you wanted to hear my voice. If you are a guy and you behave in this uh, overtly uh, sensitive manner and you scream and shout and you feel the need to all this have all this small attention at you, you're not really ju just man up. Just stop being such a bitch. This is like woman behavior. Please. Don't me wrong. I feel like a guy knows within like a month or two if he wants to be your boy boyfriend. Let me make this short and sweet. You're definitely wrong. You think it takes a month or two, 15 minutes tops. Sure, there might be a few dates, maybe a few weeks, whatever, just to make sure that gut feeling's right. But if it's been months, hey, don't want to date you. Girl. Any guy says otherwise, he's full of shit. He's just stringing you along for alternative motives. Damn. Exactly. Yeah, he just wants you for your ass and uh, he just wants you on the roaster so you're just one of the girls he's uh, fucking I don't I don't need them you talk to him so like this that's why it's important for but him to be that to kind of like for me do you talk to him like this like what like how you talking to us right now do you talk to him like that you over talking I got a mama a head I don't need another mama I need a partner yeah. my partner in business or anything ain't gonna talk to me up and make me feel this big. Yeah. First of all, I want to touch on something you said earlier. I'm glad you went in like this. I want to touch on something you just said a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. We're getting here. Yeah. We're getting I here. Just, first well, of all, let me finish. I don't want y'all to think that if I be breaking that up, I'm talking down on my man. No, no, this is great conversation. No, 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 no. If a woman shouts like that, behaves like that, just do yourself a favor and just run for the hills. Any woman that has that behavior and is just such an unpleasant presence around you, just leave. That's the only manly thing that you can do. Just walk away, my friend. You ever tried breaking up with somebody and they said no? Matter of <laughs> fact, is that a green screen? That's a green screen behind y'all. Come playing with me. It's a green screen. Walk down the hey, stairs. Walk down the stairs. Come here. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. It's a green screen. It's a green screen. Okay, walk down the stairs. Oh. You petty. How do you tell them to say hi? Tell them to say hi. Okay. Is your mansion bigger than Rick Ross? Take us Who? Uh, hold on. Some of so, you. Take wait, 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 hold on. We, we comparing, are we comparing houses to other people as if it matters? <laughs> sure. See, see, let me, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something that, that, that y'all probably don't understand. Four people discuss people. Middle class people discuss events. Rich people discuss ideas. We're only thinking about the ideas that make us more richer. We're not caring about who's who's and what's what's. And this person got more when your thing got less. I don't okay. care less about their homes because I'm not in their house sleeping. I sleep in my okay. own home. I don't care less about anything they got. My friend, just walk away. I know you're doing that for entertainment purposes. Just close the video call and just walk away. Why would you entertain that mammal? That, uh, that's down in the video and prove to her that that mansion is actually yours just if you are living in that house and especially in a country like america then that means you got a lot of money and you can definitely spend your time with a uh, higher caliber women why do you not talk to your girlfriends about your marriage would a queen talk to a chambermaid about the king how would the chambermaid understand what it is that the queen is going through or has to understand why am i going to go get advice from somebody who has a failed marriage who doesn't understand what it's like to be with a man like that number two if i go and tell my friend how horrible grant was about something which there's two sides of the story and then i'm gonna go make up with grant but now i've told them that grant is domineering grant is controlling he only thinks about himself they're stuck with that so now i've made up with my husband i go hang out with my best friend Susie Q. She's like, so how's Grant? Oh, is he doing the domineering thing again? Boom. 
bottle it back up. Either I'm trying to now talk to her and convince her that my husband isn't the piece of garbage that I made him out to be earlier. I'm trying to convince her of that or I'm reignited about the upset and how he does not treat me with respect and he does treat me like a and I'm always doing this for him and he doesn't do that. And then boom, now I'm home with my husband and guess what? He does one little thing where he's like, I'm going here um, to do this, da 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 And I'm like, oh really? Oh, so it's my job to take care of the kids? Oh, you just get to do whatever you want because you just think about only yourself. Do you understand? This is uh, some sort of advice if you ask me personally, if you're a woman especially, don't take dating advice or relationship advice from other women. Women are just miserable and they will give you miserable advice. Just follow your heart and do whatever is best for the relationship. Yeah, put your partner above yourself and the partner should be putting you above himself or herself, whatever it is. And people outside your relationship have no idea how the relationship actually is. So don't ask advice from them because they will be hypocrites with their advice and they will usually not follow their own advice that they are giving you. So there's a lesson in there. Are you loyal? Of course. Yes. Five phones right now. All right. All right, we're going through messages? Yeah. It's pretty normal. Pretty normal, you said? As yeah. expected. Wait, who's Adam? <laughs> You're friends with them, right? You're talking to my friends? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty normal. Why didn't you talk to me about it first? I thought we were all friends. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Bro. We're talking. Damn. We're just friends. We're all three friends. <laughs> Bro. Are you serious? Some conflict in my life. I almost broke up with my husband because I thought he was boring. Turns out he was just healthy and sane. Every time we became misaligned, he would just want to sit down and talk about it calmly, hear each other out, forgive each other if necessary, and just move on and continue growing. You see, I grew up in a very chaotic type of love, the novella type, where everybody's slamming doors, yelling at each other. You don't talk to each other for days. And so I thought that that was love. I thought that that was passion. Yes, most women, including this one right here, is into toxicity yeah they love being toxic they love all the degenerate stupid stuff right so for them they just want drama they want the telenovelas they want all the conversations they want all the drama being played out in front of them they don't want to have like a civil decent conversation about love and feelings and marriage relationship and like none of that stuff they just are attracted to toxicity so if you my friend as a man are not into toxicity just get away from these types of women Katie had this boyfriend and like they were so off and on and then like one day I don't I just ended up making out with him it was really terrible of me it's so shady <laughs> Oh, you slut. God forbid your husband will come home tomorrow and say, I want a divorce. He serves your papers and you divorce inside in 90 days. Would you keep those 60 pounds on? No. Why? Because I got to get back out there, I guess. Oh, damn. So basically <laughs> you're telling your husband is because the the the... The the prize for you staying in this marriage is me having this additional sixty pounds. But if you were to leave me, I'd lose it. I am working to get it off, though. I am working to get it off. I just I made I just gave it to you, plain and simple. I let you yeah. resolve that. Because if your youngest is two and a half, all I know is that's thirty months. Mm -hmm. That should have been gone long time ago. Yeah. This is what happens uh, in ma the majority of marriages anyway. It's like both men and women kind of like uh, let themselves go after a while because they just uh, chill into the relationship. And for them, it's, there's no incentive into being healthy and staying fit and staying attractive for your partner. To them, it's just like uh, if he loves me or if she loves me, they love me for who, they, who I am and nothing more. And I've seen that happening in a, a lot of a lot of marriages. And unfortunately, it shouldn't, but it does. 
No one talks about divorcing a good guy. I've been divorced twice, both of which oh my were God. my decision. That doesn't mean there yes. wasn't a pile of other reasons as to why we couldn't maintain a healthy relationship. You deserve to be happy. And I'm proud of you for taking responsibility for your happiness and doing something about it. The reason why nobody's talking about divorcing the good guy is because they know how it makes them look and they oftentimes live to regret it. Eight yourselves today. A seven, nine, on a good day. It's today a good day. Today's, Today's a, a good day. Today's a great day. No one says a great day. I'm going to say 10 out of 10. Uh, I, I would probably say 7 across the board. You guys are cute. Give me a cute box. Can I rate you? Sure. What would you rate me? Are those mids? What are those? Uh, they're highs. They're highs? Yeah. Five and a half. Slightly above. Slightly above? Only slightly. Only 0. 0.5 above. Okay. What would you say? Okay, I'll, I'll return the 7. 7? There you go. Okay. What would you say? No comment. No comment? No comment. I'd say we struck a nerve somewhere. What would you rate her? Huh? What would you rate her? What would I rate her? You do 360? <laughs> Yeah, I would say like a 6.5. I'll take it. The fact that the Junos on the right said uh, she's a 10 out of 10 and then uh, she made no comment about him. It's just a cope like for a lot of these women. A lot of weak idiots on the internet, they watch these videos and they're like, Oh, how can we ever measure up and how... Just stop bitching. Just shut up. Close the phone. Just going, just go out there and meet actual real women and not like TikTok interviews.